Well, you told the Evening Standard right. in an interview yes. that the truth will come out. Was this you coming out of the closet? Be fair to describe yourself as a sugar baby. OK Magazine reporter Vanessa has had famous men slide into her DMs. Who could these men be? Would you say, therefore, the relationship was about money? Um, Tell me about your celebrity crush. Erika Johnson might be of interest. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here, man. This is, this is good. It's a little bit cold, but far from that, it's all right. It is a bit chilly, but you're keeping the scarf on. Yes, I'm keeping the scarf on. It reminds me of what my friend from Duran Duran said. It's a little bit chilly around the Balkans. Well, excellent. I've got a, <laughs> I've got a little oath that I want you to read out. And I give this to every single guest when they come right. on. And it's just to declare. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, it's all right. I've got long You've arms. You've got it? Okay. I can reach. I can reach. It's just to declare your honesty when you're talking to me. I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth mark my words. Perfect. Ah, oh, right. I see what you did there. Thank you. <laughs> Is yes. that legally binding? <laughs> Okay. Why don't you introduce yourself? Just tell me your age. Obviously, we know your name, Ben Afedu. Yes. What you get up to. Right. All okay. of that kind of stuff. Well, my name is Ben Afedu. I'm a singer-songwriter. I've been in the music business for over 30 years, and I'm 51 years of age. Are you good at making people laugh? Um, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> it all depends on how you see me. But I, I like to be someone that people kind of um, laugh with, not at. So what do you find often people laughing at you or with you? Um, I've had both in my life, actually. Which one more? Uh, with. With, are you sure? Um, Is that what you think or would other people say the same? Uh, I think that the majority mm. of people would say the same. I think. Would it be fair to describe you as a, a metrosexual man? Um... It depends what metrosexual is. What, Do you someone, know what it means? Well, actually, yes. Someone who's, someone who's quite in touch with their feminine side and looks after themselves. And that sort of, yeah. Yes, totally. I, 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 I love women. I was brought up by women. Two of my older sisters were pretty, a pivotal part in my life. Funnily enough, when I was young, they used to dress me up as Adamant and stuff like that. I don't know if you know Adamant. It's no, I don't. Before your time. I think it's before my time. I think it's pre-2000. What do you care most about when it comes to your parents? Um, I don't know. I like to smell good. What do you smell of now? I can't really smell you. Tommy Hilfiger. You got to smell good. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of guys out there who don't smell good. And you got to smell good, baby. You're best known then as well for your song Turnaround. Yes. Which became a hit in 1999. Yeah. So 24 years ago. Right. I was actually going to do a little rendition of the song. I think you should. And I wanted you to rate it out of 10. <clears throat> hey, what's wrong with you? You're looking pretty down to me. Um, well, you're looking kind of down. Oh, is it kind of? Oh, sorry, yeah. I got it wrong. But, but nevertheless, um, I think you really made that song your own uh, when you sang that. In a good or bad way? In a way that was your own. <laughs> I think, I think, um, I think it was all right. You know, I was pretty surprised at how on key you were. So mm. yeah, you were quite on key. So I'd rate it. I'd give you, being honest, yeah. six and a half. Well, you got one of the lyrics wrong. Give me what it should be like. It should be. And I'll give you a rating out of 10. Okay. Hey, what's wrong with you? You're looking kind of down to me. I give that a six. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do. I sang it 24 years ago, so it was a long time ago. So, hey. As you said, it's been 24 years since you released Turn Around. Yes. What have you been doing all this time? <laughs> <laughs> I've been in about four bands since then. Um, represent, well, you know, uh, it's in a band called Four Story. Uh, I've had projects with. Uh, a good friend of mine, Shane Lynch, we were we did uh, a band called Red Hill together. We also did something recently called Boys on Block, which is uh, an amalgamation of um, nostalgic bands. 
mm. member of Five, member of Another Level, member of Boys Own, and myself from Fats and Small. And there's also new kids on the block, which we didn't want to sound like. So right. Boys on the Block. Is that because you're all old? Any new music? No new music in the pipeline at all. Right. We're a touring band. And people really get to a certain age, sadly. And people just, and especially with pop, it's such a young thing. People mm. don't really want to hear new music from old people. Yeah, I agree. If you had to choose a day job, mm. would it be singer or partner to Vanessa Feltz? It'd be singer. Why not the other? Well, being a partner is not, is not a job. It's just being a partner. Who would you like to collaborate, artist-wise, if you were to release new music as a solo um, artist? I, I'm really in love with uh, the voice of Barbara Streisand. I think she's incredible. Mm -hmm. And uh, that would have been something I would have loved to have done. I'd love to play the Barry Gibb role in Guilty. Do you think she'd say yes if you asked her? Um, yeah, I think I've got a good chance. Do you think she knows who you are? Um, I, you know, you never know. You never know. Turn you never around, know. That's a lot of true. Records. You never know. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Little do people know you're also an actor. I <laughs> have prepared a little script to just put you on the spot a bit and to see how good your acting actually is. It's actually from Romeo and Juliet. Oh gosh. So it might be a, a little soliloquy, but give it a go. Right. Hold on. Oh, I ain't got my glasses. Right, um, tis torture, not mercy, heaven is here. We're jailed, we're jailed lives, and every cat and dog, hold on, I, I just can't see anything, more vadility, <laughs> more, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it, so I've got another question. All right, okay, sorry about that. It's the eyesight is a, is a thing. It's, no, it's, it comes with age. Don't worry. It's not a big deal. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's move on to Vanessa Feltz. So she's your ex fiance. Yes, she is, yeah. Now she's reportedly mm. worth 38 million pounds. And according to online sources, you're worth 100,000 pounds. Well, no, I'm worth a bit more than that, mate. Would you say, therefore, the relationship was about money? Um, I don't think it was about money. I think money had a part to play in it. It wasn't about money, but I'm definitely worth more than £100,000. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Proposed to Vanessa in 2006. Yes. How big was the ring? Uh, the ring was massive. Carrots? How many? Uh, well, the diamond, it was a family heirloom. So when you proposed to Vanessa and Island, she described the bed being covered in dark red roses. Yes. Is that the most romantic thing that you've ever done for her or anyone you've been in a relationship with? I think, yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound... I mean, at the time, it, it definitely was. Like, the bed was full of roses. And, mm -hmm. and then she turned around and she couldn't see me because I was on my knees. I'm asking this moment. Whilst you were together, there was a, a significant age gap. Yeah, it's only 10 years. During but, the relationship. Yeah. Would it be fair to describe yourself as a sugar baby? I've never heard that term before. <laughs> I know the you know Sugar Babes, they're a great band. Sugar Baby. Um, I can define it for you. <laughs> we can see if it works. Okay, cool. So the definition mm. is a fake romantic transactional sexual relationship between an older wealthy person and a younger person. Nah, man. <laughs> Never. I mean, some no. parts are true. No. No? Well, no. I d you know, the truth is, Vanessa was just older than me, and that was that. OK Magazine reporter Vanessa has had famous men slide into her DMs. Who could these men be? I don't know. Everyone's famous now. It could be like social media influencers. It could be, you know, I mean, everybody is famous. Anyone you might know? Um... Nah, I mean, I've had famous girls slide into my DMs. I mean, any, you know, it, it's just like, what is fame? Who would you hate to see her being papped with? Oh, gosh, that's a, that's a, I mean, I'm pretty much, and I know this is going to sound really boring. I'm pretty much live and let live, man. That ship has sailed. People make such a massive deal about the whole thing. It's like, it's over, isn't it? 17 yeah. years. When you do 17 years in your relationship, then you can talk to me. So the Mirror reported Vanessa mm. was extremely sad 
and disappointed. That was the impenzement. <laughs> no, I was going to ask, was she talking about your penis size? <laughs> um, and I think it's documented um, that I've got size 15 feet. So, I mean, it's just... It's, is there a correlation? I think I'm in proportion. Well, you told the Evening Standard right. in an interview yes. that the truth will come out. Was this you coming out of the closet? <laughs> no, no. The, the, no, the truth will come out, meaning that in the long run, <clears> um, <throat> time's a healer, number one. And number two, in the long run, everyone will see. Because I think I got a pretty much a bad rap. And I think that as time goes on, everyone will begin to make up their mind um, of what really is going on out here. Whilst on this topic, yeah. your type of woman. Yes. So we all know, well, most of us know what Vanessa looks like. Mm. Would you say that's your typical type? Um, at the time when I was introduced to Vanessa, someone introduced her to me because they thought it was my typical type of woman. And I suppose at that time it was. Mm. But types change. And has just changed as, since? Yes. To what? Any alpha female. Alpha female. What yeah. about superficially? What do they have to look like? I don't think I have a superficial um, um, now. Big Bunda? I mean, I'm I'm Nigerian and maybe that runs in the blood. So so a curvy woman is, is definitely, um, yeah, strong women. That gets you going more. Now. Now. It does, yeah. At 51 but years But how has that changed? Because Vanessa, I'm assuming, has always been pretty dominant. Yes. Alfrey. Exactly. So what's changed then? Um, well, I was in love with her, but now I'm not. I, I find myself attracted to women. And the only thing that they have in common is they're all alpha women. So just picking up on that, you're not in love with Vanessa anymore. Is that pretty clear cut? Um, no, you're not in love. No. You're not in love with her anymore. No. If she wanted to go back to what you had before, would you be open no. to that? No, no. That's gone. Yeah, I never go back. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, it's an X is an X for a reason. It's it's over. It's done. It's like... So you're very definitive on that. Black and white. Absolutely not. Black and white. Mm -hmm. I think Oasis would get back together sooner than me and Vanessa would get back together. You must have a lot of women in your DMs. Well, and men, I'm sure. A whole I'm... mixture. <laughs> what would you recommend they do to gain your attention? If someone's DMing you, what would you say they need to do to stand out from the crowd. Well, the I, always, I always reply to all my DMs. That's why I'm in this travel. Would you like them to growl at you? Depends on where we are. You know. Any scenario. <laughs> what, just like a spontaneous growl? I'd, Would that get you going? Uh, like I said, it depends where we are. Like maybe not in a restaurant or in public. Are you saying Vanessa used to growl? Huh? Uh, no, no, I'm not saying that at all. Tell me about your celebrity crush, and that can't include Vanessa. My celebrity crush? Gosh. Anyone out there that you think tickles you? Sheridan Smith does. She's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, Is she know, single? She, I don't know. We should ask no, her. I don't know. I just we should her. find I out. I think she's, she's, she's absolutely gorgeous. Because I've heard not on the grapevine that Erika Johnson might be of interest. Oh, that was a private conversation. Now she's gorgeous, stunning. I'd 100% pursue that if the opportunity arose. Maybe I'll ask her next time I see her. Do you think that would hurt Vanessa if you ended up with Erika? I don't know what Vanessa thinks. I don't think she, I, I, I think she's moved on as well. I don't think she cares. I mean, and So you're a self-proclaimed womanizer. Uh, no, I haven't said that. Well, I'm proclaiming that you're a womanizer. <laughs> That's your words, not mine. I'm, has, not, I'm not a womanizer at all. At all. Has any woman ever rejected you? Um, no. Not ever. Not once in your life. Well, I only go. I, I, I'm, I'm quite shy. So the women do most of the, the chatting up. So out of 10, how would you rate your own looks? Crikey. I don't know. I'm not bad. I'm 51 as well. Mm. Not bad looking. But um, I wouldn't say I was, you know, I'm not like, although I did model when I was young, but I'm not, I'm not like, you know, I don't know. I, I really, that I don't know. I, I think it's for other people to rate. Oh, just give, 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 give yourself you give a rating. <laughs> give yourself a rating out of 10. I mean, you're quite, 
sure of yourself. I mean, you're aware of how you look. I've I just think, said to you, I don't chat with any be, women. I know, but I think it'd be pretty easy for you to give yourself a rating. I think you could come I'm up I'm about a seven, I think. Not higher? Why not an eight or a nine or a 10? Because I'm not that sure of myself and I never have been. So there's an insecurity you think that knocks you yes, down the peg? Completely, yeah. Right. Yeah. And Obviously, where does that insecurity come from, do you think? Being uh, at school, being really overweight. And, okay. um, you know, just developing a bubbly character to kind of cope with that. Mm -hmm. And so that I used to get, my palms used to go sweaty when I just talked to any female. Wow. Like that would be, that's a, that's a lot, you know, that only stopped happening last year. I mean, some men just, you know, throw out the fishing rod and whatever comes back, comes back. You know what I mean? You win some, you lose some. Are you some. quite picky then with who you get with post Vanessa? Um, I'm just taking what, no, nah, nah, yeah, 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 I know what I want mm. and I know what I don't want. Can you cook? Yes. What's your favourite dish to cook? Um, it'd be African dishes, um, like uh, we have this thing called uh, gram rice or ground rice mm. and um, okra soup mm. or uh, jellof rice. Um, so you're a master at cooking all of those dishes? Um, not a master, but I'm, you know, I, can, I can cook. What's the worst thing you've eaten? The worst thing? Mm, that you've ever put in your mouth? Um, I'm not a massive fan of celery, but I'm old enough to understand it now. Have you ever consumed it whole? Uh, celery. Like put the whole celery stick in your mouth? No. No. Never. Apart <laughs> from a care home, right. where do you see yourself at 61? <laughs> well hopefully I won't be in a care home and when I see myself 61 I'm happy mm. and satisfied and fulfilled do you want children? Um, it's never I, too late I actually do you do? I really really do um, it's something I've missed out on um, and uh, yeah I'm a bit upset about that I missed out on it and made a commitment which I probably shouldn't have done, but I did. And why did you never get married? And why did you never have children? In my last relationship, um, these are things that I went into wanting, um, but it never just materialised because... Do you know why? Well, the other person involved wasn't on the same page as me. I would love you to give me and the people at home yeah. some advice. You've obviously lived for... Five decades. Five decades. <laughs> just over five year. decades. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time on planet earth. What yeah. do you have to share? Any wisdom, expertise, life experience? Plan to fail to plan and then plan to fail. And that's your advice. Do you have yeah. any original advice? Yeah. Well, what I mean is that that is that kind of gravitates through your life, you do have to make plans. Mm. If my dad and mum never made plans, mm. I wouldn't be here. So you really live by that day to day? Yeah, I I planned, I failed to plan. I just sort of stumbled along in life. That's everything. That's Thank all. Thank you very, very much. This was all right. It was a, it's a thought, pleasure having yeah, you. Yeah, I was a bit, you know, I took my scarf off because it was getting a bit heated. A bit toasty. Thank you. Thank you very, very it much. It was insightful. Yeah, totally. I look forward to a, uh, Seeing this, don't judge me. Well. <laughs>